Hey everyone, Mike here with BlenderSmoothies.com and uh, today we've got our Vitamix 750 Professional Series and the Blendtec Designer Series and what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to go nuts. Uh, both of these uh, blenders claim to be able to make nut butters and uh, we're going to find out how well they do. We're going to make an almond butter. Uh, if you've gotten organic or natural peanut butters, almond butters at a grocery store uh, like I have, uh, you know that they're good for you, uh, you know that they're expensive and in my opinion, they taste terrible. So my wife likes them, but I grew up eating Jif, and uh, if I'm gonna get peanut butter at the grocery store, uh, I can't stay away from, uh, from the just old classic Jif creamy peanut butter. So one of the reasons we got the Vitamix was to eat healthier. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot, and I'll see how well it does making an almond butter, and see if I like it. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're not just gonna make almond butter today. We're gonna make uh, coconut almond butter. Um, it's still a really simple recipe, just sounds cooler, coconut almond butter, uh, more fancy, why not, right? Uh, so it's really simple, just a little more than a cup of almonds, a little more than a tablespoon of uh, coconut oil, and then uh, we're just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon there for some flavor. And uh, as, with regards to the oil, you don't have to use oil if you're making the almond butter, um, but I find that the almond butter is just a little uh, chalky, uh, a little grainy without the extra oil. You can use a canola oil or a different kind of oil if you like. We at our house really like the coconut oil. It's a really healthy oil. Uh, it's got a little bit of flavor to it, but it's just very, very mild. Um, it's got a lot of uses, so we find ourselves using the coconut oil for a lot of different things. Um, this particular oil is uh, Carrington Farms brand coconut oil. Uh, you can get it at Costco. Uh, I think you can buy it on Amazon, uh, so it's a pretty popular popular oil, so we're checking out. All right, so I'm gonna come around the counter and I will get started. First, we're gonna make it in the Vitamix and uh, we'll see how that comes out and then we'll make it in the Buntech. We'll compare the two. All right, first we're gonna start with the Vitamix and uh, I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do with the controls first and then um, we'll let you see the, the actual uh, blender do its work. Um, the Vitamix 750 does have the pre-programmed settings. Uh, for this recipe, we're gonna use the variable side. This is manual control and that's what we want. We want more control uh, with, this, with this coconut almond butter because we're going to run it uh, from the lowest setting one slowly up to a 10, the highest setting, and let it uh, work on the, the almonds by themselves for two minutes. Um, the almonds will get to a stage in the blender where they start to release their natural oils and you'll start to see a more creamy texture. Um, after that two minutes, I'll stop the blender, I'll add the coconut oil and then run it for another 30 seconds. And then we should be, uh, we should be where we wanna be with the almond butter. Now I have to admit, uh, that I did change the recipe a little bit. Uh, I went ran through this once uh, Just using a little more than a cup of almonds and this wide base of 750 um, It the blades just quickly moved the almonds out of the way and so the blades are almost spinning freely So the the almonds once they were chopped they weren't uh, processing through the blades. It just didn't work um, so I've got six cups of almonds left, so we're gonna try three in the Vitamix and three in the Blendtec. So I think with the three cups, uh, we should have enough um, to see it work properly. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna add the almonds. And I'm gonna stick the lid on there and use the, uh, the Vitamix plunger to uh, keep the almonds moving through the blades. I'm just going to go ahead and start the blender. So we've hit two minutes and uh, the Vitamix is really doing some work on those almonds. It's already nice and creamy. I can see that as I move the tamper around. I'm um, gonna go ahead and add the oil and run it for another 30 seconds. And just add a pinch of cinnamon for flavor. 
and because it sounds fancy. And I'm just going to start it at 1 and slowly increase it to 8 for 30 seconds. According to plan, we've got uh, some nice creamy almond butter. So let's take a look and see how it came out. All right, so you can see it came out really nice. It's really smooth. It's really creamy. Uh, you know, I can't uh, I can't see any pieces of almonds that didn't get uh, turned into butter. It's really smooth, um, creamier than I thought it would be. Uh, let's see how it tastes. It's really good. I don't mind it at all. Um, I would eat this on a sandwich, crackers. Um, I'm really happy with the way this, this almond butter turned out. Which is good because uh, we're about to use uh, three more cups of almonds. So um, I'm glad we can uh, we can keep this and uh, enjoy this almond butter. So really happy with the way the Vitamix did with this almond butter. So thumbs up to the Vitamix. Next we have the Blendtec Designer Series. This is an excellent machine. Like the Vitamix, it has the pre-programmed functions. Um, for this, we're going to use the, uh, the variable functions. It's just this touch panel here. Um, this is the, the lowest setting up to the highest setting. Uh, so that's how we're going to do this recipe. One thing I do like about the uh, Blendtec Designer Series is it does have a timer built into it. So it'll just help us keep track of how long we're going. Um, one big difference between the two blenders is the container. This Blendtec has a wild side jar here. And this fifth side uh, is what creates what Blendtec refers to as the vortex. It should keep uh, the contents in the container moving down into the blades. Uh, for that reason, Blendtec doesn't use a tamper like Vitamix does. Uh, however, Blendtec does have a second jar, which is called the uh, twister jar, and it has a mechanism inside that you can turn from the top, and it keeps your, your heavy contents, like your butters and your ice cream, uh, scraped off the sides and moving into the vortex, moving into the blades. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this with the wild side. Um, I have a, a little spatula here, so I anticipate after we run for, for a minute or two, before we add the oil, um, I'll just use a spatula to make sure we can get all the contents off the side into the blade to run for the final uh, 30 seconds. Um, so the first, we're going to go ahead and add the almonds. Get the lid nice and secure. I'm going to start it at one and then I'm just going to slide on up to the highest setting and let it run for, you know, we'll keep it on maybe a minute, two minutes. And so I'm stopping it at 30 seconds because I can already see that the blade has uh, created enough room in the almonds to uh, spin freely. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the spatula now and uh, scrape the sides a little bit. Get the materials back in the blade. And give it a run. Now with the wild side jar, 
as it's running, you could turn that and that would do exactly what I'm doing with the spatula right now, which is move your uh, your almonds or whatever it is you're blending back into the, uh, the path of the blades. It's just not, as soon as I started it, it just makes a path. Um, so try it one more time. So right now it's just very mealy. It's not buttery at all. Uh, rather than the high setting, I'm just gonna do a pulse. It's got a pulse feature here. Uh, we'll see if maybe that'll give us more control. It's just not gonna do it. So let's go ahead and scrape it. We'll add our coconut oil. And see if that'll give it enough oil to, uh, to keep it blending. I'm gonna add the cinnamon, a little pinch of cinnamon for flavor. And hopefully, This will do the trick. That's about as good as it's gonna get with the wild side jar. Um, I can really see how having the uh, the twister jar um, would make this job much easier, but um, it's another jar that you that you have to get. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see how it, see how it turned out. So here's our here's our Buntek almond butter. Uh, it's very thick. I can turn this upside down, and uh, it's not coming out. Um, you know, the taste, the taste is there, it tastes fine, um, I would eat that, uh, but you know, compared to the, uh, the Vitamix almond butter, this is much smoother, much creamier, uh, I'd much prefer to have this, I mean, I could, if it turns over, it's just going to pour it on the counter, um, it's just a very nice, creamy, smooth butter, the Blendtec tastes good, it's passable, um, but with the wild side jar uh, and no way to really keep the uh, the almonds and the oil moving through the uh, through the blades, um, it just doesn't get as smooth and as creamy as the uh, as the Vitamix does. In the end, the Vitamix did an excellent job making the coconut almond butter. I'm really happy with the way it came out. The taste is great. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's easy to spread. I can see it going on a sandwich or on crackers, no problem. And it's gonna love it. My parents will love it. I'm going to take some to them as a gift. I think you'll love it too. Head over to blendersmoothies.com. You'll find the recipe for this coconut almond butter. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. This is Mike with Bundersmoothies.com. Thanks for watching.